In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a goblet that uses the spin tool, which is the equivalent of the lathe operation used in other 3D packages, and in the real world, lathes used in carpentry and engineering workshops. With the default cube selected, go into edit mode, press the delete key or click the delete button and delete all the vertices of the cube. In the outliner window, we see there's a mesh object called cube. It's got a center point, but no vertices. In the object properties, change the name of the mesh object to goblet. And in the view menu, change the view from perspective to orthogonal and the view to the front view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. And to add vertices, we hold down the control key and left click with the mouse. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off and I'm going to hide the lamp. Hold down the control key and left click to add vertices and draw the profile of the object you want to spin. In this case, a goblet. Don't worry about getting the position of the vertices perfect. It's very easy to alter them afterwards. I would now work my way around the profile, fine-tuning the position of the vertices. Select a vertex, press G to grab, and move the vertex to fine-tune its position. To add a new vertex, select a vertex, hold down Shift, select a second vertex, click the subdivide button, and that will create a new vertex in the middle. G to grab, fine-tune the position, G to grab. G to grab and work your way around the profile. To delete a vertex, select the vertex, hold down shift, select a second vertex, click the merge button and merge at last. Control Z and does your last action. I've jumped ahead and I'm fine tuning the position of the final vertex, G to grab and move that. Before we can spin the profile, we have to select all the vertices. Press A on the keyboard twice. In the view menu, go to top view. Now the profile is spun around the 3D cursor. If I move it and click spin, we get that, which we don't want. Control Z. To make sure the 3D cursor is in the center, go to the mesh menu, snap, cursor to center. Now click spin. We get a quarter of a turn, 90 degrees. We want a full turn, so enter 360 degrees. Nine steps, the profile is duplicated nine times. I'm going to up that to 24. Now, the final duplication is on top of the first profile, so we need to remove doubles. To do that, press A on the keyboard twice to select all, then click Remove Doubles, and it should say 22 vertices removed. Dragging with the middle mouse button, the next thing we need to do is fill the holes at the top and the bottom. I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel. I'm going to go into edge select mode. I'm holding down the Alt key on the keyboard and I select an edge and that selects a ring of edges. Press E to extrude immediately followed by enter. Press S to scale followed by zero and enter. And that shrinks a ring of 24 vertices to the center. We need to click remove doubles to remove 23 of them. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Hold down the Alt key and select an edge. Now I can press E to extrude or I could press S to scales straight off, followed by zero and enter. That fills the hole, slightly simplifying the profile. Remember to remove doubles. Zooming back with the mouse wheel and rotating the view by dragging with the middle mouse button, the basic goblet shape is finished. I'm now going to apply the subdivision surface modifier. Click the modifiers button, click add modifier, subdivision surface. Change the level of subdivision to 2 and go into object mode and put the shading to smooth. These bands are caused by the shading not being calculated properly. To fix that, go back into edit mode. You must select all. I'm going to press A twice on the keyboard. Go into the mesh menu, normals, recalculate outside. Go back into object mode and the banding is gone.
The mesh modeling is complete. It's time to think about materials and textures to finish the model, but I'll save that for another tutorial. I'll put the profile before applying the spin tool and the finished model at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.